guys welcome back to my channel it's Marisa how's everyone doing so today we're gonna open up my primal flow of February box this is my subscription box um, it came yesterday um, and I didn't have to wait all day which was awesome so I saw uh, like a sneak peek of it and you know it is February so I it really looks like a um, a Valentine's Day inspired box so I have my little beautiful table uh, scatter here and so let's get to open uh, opening this box today so what we're gonna do today we're gonna make something whatever's inside this box we're using just these products today I don't know if we're gonna use all the products but we're gonna try and use as many products as we can because I know it's gonna come with some wood um, uh, with little cutouts and we're gonna have to get some really cool interesting stuff and I know I have a feeling that I do have a lot of the pinks and reds already and so I'm, a, I'm probably gonna get re repeats but I'm hoping that these are the colors that I actually like so let's open it up and see what we have so this is a pretty little card be our Valentine Enjoy the season of love with this perfectly pink palette. And then it gives a little resin tip of the month. Is that pretty? All right. So, they always give a little resin gift. And let's open this up. It's a little purple heart, which I think is really pretty. It's a little resin gift. Now I already see stuff that I already have but there's something that I really need in here, which is this titanium white. I am almost run out. I just got um, the little container um, from my uh, starter kit, and that is really almost done. And I'm, honestly, these bottles last almost all month. I mean, it actually did. I still have some um, Glam Red from the last time I bought some. And most of the paints, even though they're running low, I still actually have some. And I even have some from the starter kit, so they go a long way. This is eight ounces, but this is heavy. So this is awesome, I am so happy I have the white. So what do we have here? We have the magenta, which I already have. But again, I love this color. I was hoping for like colors I don't have, but you know what these are colors I really like especially the white is very um, very necessary and oh, I love pop of that oh that was popping it's not popping there it goes all right so we got more bubblegum pink which I love and I am not mad at at all okay and I knew we were gonna get this the glam red which I am very, very low on. And I, this is like the most gorgeous color red. This is so beautiful. So those are our paints. So I'm really happy about the white. Even though I have these three already, I'm not mad. Um, you know, I love these colors. So next month I'll probably get colors that I do not have, hopefully. So here they always give micas and, um, glitters so what do we have this time this is so funny again something last time I got the box I had something in my cart and I actually had this in a, my cart and I took it out because I was like you know let me just wait for this box I have a feeling this is gonna be in it and it is it is called chunky cupid glitter this is absolutely gorgeous i am really excited to use this and i could use this in my resin art and in my paintings and this is what i love about this kit this can be used in both um so yeah we got that and this is so awesome neon pink mica very excited about that i love me some neon pinks so i have ideas for this and then we have some silver, silver mica pigment. So that's really pretty as well. So I'm really excited. This is a big one. This is a really nice, um, I love this packaging too. So what else do we have in our monthly box? 
I am I am actually really excited. I love that I am really loving this box so much. So this time they gave us some uh, real glass shards and it actually has a little warning it says please wear gloves and the, actually the card gave a little tip about using glass. It says for a more crystalline look to your geode style work add crushed glass to your resin piece then add sprinkly of glass shards over the crushed glass. So that is kind of cool. So they actually provided that. So we have silver glass chips. So I already have an idea what I want to do for uh, for actually on Valentine's Day. I want to do the resin uh, love uh, love mold that I just um, bought. So we got this. I'm really excited about this. I'm so happy. And then last but not least. We have, I thought this was two, but this is actually one big thick one. So this is perfect. So today we are going to pour over this beautiful red heart. And we are going to, because this will take, uh, you know, maybe a couple of minutes. And then I'll maybe I'll add some um, glitters and stuff like that to this piece. Um, and also I'm probably going to take out an 8x10 canvas and what we're going to do is we're going to do a kiss pour in honor of Valentine's Day. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. So um, I will be right back. I just wanted to show you the uh, how the yesterday's painting came out because something really weird and fantastic happened and I just I noticed that maybe like an hour after um, I poured so I'm going to show you I'll be back in two seconds hey guys I am back really quick before we get started I also have to set up um, all my cups and everything for the kiss pour this looks so pretty I am in love with this kit even though I have most of these paints, I am in love with this whole concept and everything I get in here. I mean, I didn't even get to use, I'm, I'm gonna have this stuff for a while. Um, anyway, something really, if you could know, a lot of people tell me they see things in my art and, you know, it's an abstracted piece, almost like, you know, 90%, 95% of my art is abstract. Um, and when I, I normally I don't see anything other people are like I see a dog I see a dragon I see and I'm like oh <clears throat> I said that's awesome I love that that people see um, their eyes just gravitate towards certain shapes and I love that for once after it started drying this is so freaking cool I literally see a phoenix in this art look at this right here and here like the head and then the fiery wings coming out, like this whole section here. So that is really, really awesome. But besides that, this dried beautifully, literally exactly the way I left it, and it is gorgeous. I am incredibly happy with it, and as usual, no complaints. I know I'm using a lot of Primal Flow lately, but I'm gonna be honest with you, one of my favorite paints I have ever used in my life. I am so grateful to have found these paints um, through a couple artists I watched uh, that I do watch on a regular. One is Naptime Creations, and there was another artist, and please forgive me, I forgot uh, her name, but she uses Parma Flow as well. I am so grateful to anyone who uses. Thank you for. Um, really you know showing it off because these are some awesome paints um, but I do try and use other paints as well because I have so many like look at all this I have so many and that's not even I have more over there in here so yeah um, so I don't want to uh, let any of that go to waste but what I was thinking today, so this came out beautiful and I am thrilled with it. So the next step is taking those, um, the panels, the chakra pieces, 
and now measuring everything out from this side to that side up and down and I'm gonna hot glue it on here um, I'm gonna let this this is almost this is about 90% dry and then the next part is gonna be the top three um, chakras actually the middle three upper middle three chakras and then I'm gonna you know a hot glue uh, those paintings to that canvas when that is done and this whole project will be um, finished and then I will sh in another video I will show you the whole um, the whole project together and I will probably temporarily like hang it on my wall so you guys could see I'll probably lay it out on my table and then hang it up so you guys could see it properly and I'm really excited about that because this has been months in the making this whole project but what I was thinking of really quick is I think with the 8x10 canvas, we're going to do a kiss pour with these paints, okay? But with this, I was actually thinking of doing a bloom on here because these paints go perfectly. Um, that's what I use in my other blooms, which I'll quickly show you are over here. These all came out gorgeous. And these were all with the Primal Flow uh, paint, I believe or most of them so yeah those are all my other little crafty projects that I was doing with the primal fold all those little wood cutouts um, yeah so um, we're gonna do a bloom on here okay and that's a perfect idea this is a nice thick um, piece of wood and then with the 8x10 we're gonna do a kiss pour so we're gonna have two different objects two different pours so stay tuned, I'll be back in a little while and I'm gonna have all this set up and I'll figure out which paints and you know, I'm gonna add, um, after I do, do the pours, I'm gonna add some, um, maybe some glass, I'll definitely wear gloves, um, these the, sh the uh, chips, this is shards, so you have to be careful and I'll probably save these for my resin um, art that I will be doing probably on Valentine's Day or maybe on Thursday we'll see but I'll today I'm definitely going to be using um, these guys and then maybe these and then I'll maybe I'll use this in my resin art okie dokie so I will be back in a few minutes with everything set up guys see you in a sec
Hey guys, I am back. So, I had some mini drama <laughs> with my camera falling on this whole thing came tumbling down on this. So if you say, well, that looks a little different than what you left right now, Marisa. And the answer to your question is, yep, I had added um, a little more pink and the cell topper. Wow, drama in the morning. Okay, so if I didn't mention, um, and I did not mention, because when I did the blooms, I found this great um, recipe from Naptime Creations, and it is uh, Amsterdam uh, Titanium White. It has to be Amsterdam because it gives these amazing cells. There's something in it that creates these amazing cells. So it's one teaspoon of Amsterdam, to the Floetrol, this Floetrol in here, two and three quarters uh, tablespoons to the Amsterdam. Alrighty, so and if, as usual, you know, all of my uh, materials always listed in the description below. Alright, so I love the way these two came out. At first, I did not like the bloom. But then, actually, a happy accident happened because um, after the horrible camera accident happened, <laughs> I actually liked it more. So that is good. Now, if this, if I could focus. All right. I don't know if that's focused, but okay, guys. So I decided to add, I have to add some of this. Um, what is this? The Chunky Cupid Glitter. And I am also... I don't know if I'm going to use that. I was going to use it, but I don't know which way. And some of our um, glitter. The uh, this is, I think this is the brass. Yeah, burnished brass. And it, to me, it looks gold. So we're going to go with that. And I was going to use some of these glass... Uh, silver glass chips so let me start off with one thing at a time and if I can open it that would be awesome all right so we're gonna start with the bloom just add a touch to the bloom yeah I love doing blooms and I'm so happy I found um, Naptime Creations uh, recipe because it's so awesome. It really works. I'm just gonna add a little bit, not too much, to the paintings. I really love this. That's it. Nothing crazy. I don't want to inundate anything with glitter, but actually the glitter looks really nice. Uh, my son and he's a boy you know he's not necessarily into glitters and honestly neither was I until I got these kits and I start using it in my paintings I never in a million years would I've ever put glitter in my paintings ever um, but I am it's fun you know it's fun and actually glitter does not get everywhere in my house because it is contained in these awesome bags uh, contrary to popular belief. So I'm just adding a little bit of the burnished brass glitter now. All right. Because I have some other paintings and my son was watch, um, looking at them from the couch and he said, you know, that glitter look, does look really nice inside the painting. Because I don't you know, go crazy with it and just dump a pound of glitter on anything. All right. So I don't know. I think I was going to use this, but honestly, I don't think these paintings need and the bloom. I'm going to leave it alone and I'm going to use this in my resin art instead. I know other paintings, I did use the chips, um, but I don't know, there's something about that I think I'm just going to stop here, 
and chill out. Alright, so here is a little... Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, see, so just a little touch. Just gives it some a little kick. Sorry about that ring light. Okay. Yeah, this came out beautiful. I love the the kiss book. Came out really nice. I got no medium or anything like that. Just a straight paint because I want it a little thicker. Certain um, pores you do want it a little thicker. And here's our bloom. I'm so happy I saved it because I would have been a little pissed. You know what? Actually, I just thought of it. I am going to add just a little, maybe a little glass right here. Just a couple of pieces. Let's see how that looks. If I don't like it, I'm going to take it right off. And then fix the paint after. If I could open it, that would be awesome. No more accidents. Oof. I almost had a heart attack when that... Okay, yeah, that, that'll work. Okay. Just a little something around that edge there. And these will get stuck to the paint. And not come off. All right, that's that's pretty. Yeah, I did. I just at first I didn't. I looked at them like, eh, that's enough. But just around that edge there. All right, and that will get stuck to the paint and not come off after it is dry. It'll be pretty stuck on there. And that is just a little touch. All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me today. I had a little drama, personal drama with my camera, but it is all done now. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Please follow me on social media. My links are below. I remember all my materials are linked, uh, not linked, they're in the description below always. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.